Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. In today's recipe, I'm going to show you how you can use millets in your diet. So we have many ancient grains from ragi, jowar, bajra, barley, and a lot of these things. And many times it's hard to eat them just like that, but we have to figure out ways of how we can incorporate them into our diet. And what I do, I do many things. Um, one of the ways that I do it is to add it into my roti atta, right? So I have some wheat flour and you um, typically tend to add whatever millet flour is there in the refrigerator like jowar or ragi or bajra and then mix it up with a little bit of salt and black pepper and then make the rotis. So today I'm going to show you how to make a jowar and atta roti so let me get started. So I have my mixing bowl ready here with me. So what I'm going to do is to add in the wheat flour as well as the jowar atta. Right? So the ratios that I like to use is one cup of wheat flour to a half cup of jowar atta and, or any other millet atta for that example. Um, just add it in. You can also use 50-50 as in like a half cup of each and it will work well or one cup of each and it will also work well. Um, just that it will become more denser and uh, harder to roll a little bit uh, and also to cook on the pan but it tastes really nice. I'm going to add in some black pepper, adds to the taste and some salt to taste. So we'll just give it a mix. We'll add a little water at a time and then knead it to make a nice firm dough. So once all the flour uh, comes together, just knead it for a good three to four minutes and then we'll drizzle just a little bit of oil to make it nice and smooth. So now that the dough has come together, I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of oil on the top so it becomes smooth and non-sticky. And just knead until the oil blends well into the dough. And that's it. I'm gonna divide them into small portions and um, however large or small you want your roti to be, so divide them accordingly. I'm going to go ahead and dust the rolled out portions of the dough and flour and roll it into a thin circle or the thickness as you like it to be. Okay. Dust it just a little bit more and roll. That's it. I'm just going to go ahead and roll a few more and then put it on the tawa for cooking. So go ahead and add the roti into the preheated pan and we're going to be cooking it on the tawa and not like a pulka. So we, once you notice that small bubbles start popping up on one side, we'll flip it over and cook on the other side. I'm just going to go ahead and flip it over and uh, you can either use a cloth and then slightly press it down the edges so that it cooks evenly around the edges as well. And we'll just keep turning so that the pulka remains soft and cooks fast as well. Flip it over and cook it on the other side until it's completely done. And you'll notice that as it's getting cooked, it'll start puffing up and um, that'll indicate its doneness. Okay, and then you should ensure that the edges are cooked well so and it doesn't feel raw. Okay, so the moment you notice some few brown spots on the top on both the sides and you feel the rawness has gone away, that's it, the roti is done and you can take it out of the pan and then start making the remaining rotis just like that. So that's good. So I'm just going to remove this out of the pan and start making the remaining rotis the similar way. So isn't this a fun way to incorporate millets into your diet? Um, it's really tasty and healthy. You can also, you know, smear some butter, homemade butter or even ghee on top of these rotis and then serve it along with some sabzi, dal and it tastes really delicious. Do give this recipe a try. When you do, don't forget to take a snapshot of it and share your feedback in the comments below with us. We'd love to hear back from you. So until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating.